If you've ever wondered why you're tired after a late night at work or a long trans-Pacific flight, the answer might have just gotten a bit clearer. Three American scientists working on the circadian rhythm, more commonly known as the body's biological clock, have been awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for isolating the gene that controls our internal clocks and for confirming that there are indeed clocks, plural, in each of us, in each cell. All three said they were surprised on Monday when the committee based in Stockholm informed them of the decision. I really had trouble even getting my shoes on this morning. Just, just you, know, you know, I'd go and I'd pick up the shoes and then I'd realize I need the socks and then I'd realize I need to put my pants on first. A phone call at 5.10 this morning destroyed my circadian rhythms <clears throat> by waking me up. The trio proved that a key protein, known as PER or period, accumulates at night, then degrades during the day, a 24-hour cycle. Disrupting that pattern, they say, has consequences, not just for sleep, but for things like depression and heart disease. The clock, the, the mechanism that we discovered, governs at least half of all gene expression in, in, human, in the human body. The research was conducted over decades on fruit flies, but the science, they say, is transferable. You look for a similar kind of uh, machinery in more complex organisms, first mice, yes, it's there. And then humans, yes, it's there. And then uh, you, you start finding that uh, 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 the mutations are associated with clear patterns of aberrant uh, sleep in, uh, uh, in humans. Better understanding our clocks, they say, may help determine the best time to rest, to eat, to work, and even to take medicine. Thanks to these men and their more than 30 years of research, chronobiology, or the study of biological clocks, is now a growing field. And thanks to their Nobel Prizes, it'll likely keep on ticking. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.